This is the Brew.ae and I am standing at the experience center of Vekul. And yes, this is the future of the food. So what is the future of the food? I'm giving you a hint of what lies ahead. So we're now opening it up a little more. And we're opening it up at a time where things are becoming extremely critical. Uh, we've all worried about climate change, yes. but we're seeing what climate change can do to us right now. You know, there are countries like Pakistan where the entire crop is wiped out because of flooding. And at the same time, China is going through a drought. This is unfortunately the future of food if we don't do anything about it. Okay. The volatility caused by climate change is only going to increase. And the future of food will therefore be around building agile, climate smart and sustainable food supply chains that are global. Uh, that's really what our focus is. Uh, you know, few years ago we started off building this in India. We've worked on the technology, we perfected the technology to be able to predict what happens and align the food supply chain accordingly in India. Now we want to take this technology to the rest of the world as well because the world needs it now. So after COVID we have seen that AI and machine, that involvement is everywhere, yes. even in the food industry also. Yes. So how is it going to help the small players or the big players in long run? Let me give you some examples. Yeah. Uh, we, we have a team that builds an IoT device. This device, when placed in any farm, can tell you the, the local weather, the, the air uh, temperature, the air humidity, soil moisture, soil temperature and leaf wetness. With this data, it's able to predict the climatic condition in that farm for the next you know, few days. And yeah. therefore, tell the farmer when to irrigate and when not to irrigate. If you over irrigate, then the roots get uh, you know, rotten. If you under irrigate, the farm, the, the plant mm. does not grow. And that's the first example of AI on it. Now what the team has done is, they put another layer of artificial intelligence with which they're able to tell, you know, if you, take, if you have grapes, if, if when will powdery mildew attack the grapes and when will the disease happen? They're able to tell you two weeks in advance which means the farmer can take evasive action and avoid the uh, onset of the disease. So this device you are placing in the field? In the field. So you, that is only in the farmers who are associated with the vehicle? The, any farmer can actually buy this device and place it. They okay. get the, uh, the app and the app will tell them oh, what to do. So they, I mean, uh, to associate with us, you don't need to supply to us. You can even buy from us. So, oh, great. so this is a solution that. So it's like you are doing a prediction for them exactly. in advance. Exactly. Okay. There is another example. Uh, we have a Veku cool app which more than two hundred thousand farmers have downloaded. Not all of them supply to us, uh -huh. uh, but that app has a feature where uh, the farmer can simply hold uh, the camera of the phone over a leaf, and it will tell them what disease has affected the plant, and that's again through AI. We've used more than two and a half million images to train the AI and it can identify up to 70 types of diseases that are affecting the crop. So the phone uh, will tell you what disease the crop has and what is the treatment to be done. And if the farmer needs help, they just hit one button on the phone and they're connected to my call center where there are agronomists who will speak to them in their language and tell them what to do. So this is another example of AI yeah. application. So right now your operation area is within India only. Uh, our cultivation area is cultivation within India, India. only. Uh -huh. Our sales are in uh, India. We've started selling to the UAE and we also sell to, uh, we made some initial sales into Bangladesh as oh, well. Oh, great. So, did you approach to farmers here also, uh, out of the India and UAE we're market? We're reaching out now yeah, because uh, uh, we are still learning about uh, the agri base over here. Hmm. Uh, we're open to engaging and we're open to offering our services. So, this is the one part of Vekul where you are providing them the facility to for the prediction. That's correct. Now, what is the next step? When his his production is done. Yes. The next step is around how do you run the supply chain? So, within India, the way we operate is, uh, you know, we, again, there is an element of AI involved in planning. Uh, we are able to predict our demand and, on, you know, communicate that to the farmer in advance so that they produce according to that demand. Okay. Uh, what uh, the next... Uh, step especially when it comes to Inda, India and UAE hmm. is to build a bridge which produces, stores and delivers crops consistently hmm. throughout the year. Uh, this is an old partnership and a very deep relationship. 
both the governments are concerned and uh, are very focused on making sure food security is not compromised. Mm. We believe we have the tools to make that happen. I have already started supplying to the UAE as a supplier and a trader. I do not want to remain a trader. I want to be a supply chain partner to the UAE and that is where I will use my technology. You, uh, you know, the UAE buys about 20 to 25 varieties of say vegetables yes, and fruits yeah. from India. We know where to grow these, we know how to store these. We can set up collection centers in all these locations, we can set up storage units, we can uh, set up the post harvest treatment units and make sure that there is an uninterrupted supply into this market. That is the value that we want to bring to the table. And if we talk about the UAE market, so we can see the supply is from all over the world. That is correct. Right. So, why we cool product? That as a customer if I think. Yes. If I am going to supermarket, I can get the products from different nations. That is correct. So, why your product? So, you will find uh, in our products a perceptible difference in the quality of the product and the consistency of the product. Uh, ultimately, why do we brand our products? Why do we have Lexotic as a fruit? Mm. We, we source Lexotic from more than 17 countries, mm. right? Uh, so, all the countries that you are buying apples from, I have my sources. But not all apples get branded Lexotic. Every Lexotic apple will have to meet a certain criterion in terms of color, which is blush, uh -huh. sweetness, which is bricks, and crunch, which is uh, hardness. Unless they meet those criteria, they are not branded Lexotic. Oh. So, you will get consistency in quality if you buy a Lexotic apple. The same thing is applicable for our grains. The, uh, the rice that we sell, uh, sell under the in a quick kitchen brand will be the same year round. It will not be like one batch is good, the other batch mm, is bad. Batch you know, batch that, is the, uh, that is the value that customers get. Uh, and here the role of AI comes, like consistency Absolutely, is always… Absolutely, because uh, our entire quality is digitized mm, and we, uh, we have absolute traceability. So, we will know what goes wrong in which farm. So, technology has a role in this. Definitely. So, like with your products, we will consume the digitally passed product. That is correct. And where we can find out your products in UAE market? We are present in more about 300 outlets right now. We are just oh. starting to ramp up. Mm. We have launched a limited range of products, mm. but you will see us ramp up uh, you know, significantly over the next 6 to 9 months. We hope to be present in most of the outlets in the UAE oh. by the end of the year. Great. So, very soon you can get the digitally proved product, mm -hmm. food conversion product, very soon in the market with the vehicle. Thank you, sir. Like and subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell icon for notifications from the blue.ae.